This video I'm going to talk about installing XBMC on a Windows operating system. So to download XBMC, you would go to xbmc.org forward slash download, select the device that you want to download on. So in this particular one I want to download the executable file for Windows. So I would select that and this will download xbmc.exec. Uh, once it's completely downloaded, you just click the installer on it and that will open up the installing the installing program of XBMC so here I've just got a quick screenshot of how it's going to look like it's just going to do the XBMC setup and install you just hit next and it will continue to install all of the different resources that you need and all the different add-ons that come by default with XBMC and once it's completed you're going to see this screen and XBMC will say it's finished installing on your computer. Uh, to finish, close the wizard and you can even check off right here to run XBMC. Or you're going to notice that under your program files you've got XBMC now and you're able to run it right on your Windows system. Uh, so there are ways to get it to boot directly to XBMC. So there are some startup scripts to uh, set Windows to boot directly when it opens up uh, uh, where you could run startup programs and you can start up XBMC as your system boots up. So if you're using it as a media center and uh, if you've got like a remote control set up for it, uh, you're able to automatically get it to boot up and start in XBMC. And what it looks like, this particular version that I'm running is running on Windows and it runs really well on Windows. It gives you a lot of different options and then all it is is just configuring all the different add-ons and selecting add-ons that you want to add into XBMC and be able to use it as your media center and this pretty much turns a PC into your media center.